Oh man, who knew food could be so epic? Oh, this video is just gonna be me talking and like just explaining how much I love Toriko and like how much, like how much of an impact it should have had and how, whether and well, you, the reason why you sh guys should just read it. So, hope you guys enjoy this type of video. I, I, I just finished reading it. That's why like I'm such I'm, I'm in such a good mood, and that's why that's where I've been gone or like where I've been at for the like past couple days or like week where I'm just kind of like just enveloped in it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I just finished reading Toriko and I can't see how this series has been so underrepresented. Uh, underrepresented? Yeah, that's the word. Underrepresented in just, in every fath like in every fathomable uh, way. Because it is probably one of the best Shonen Jump stories and just in general in like probably the last 10 years like it's probably up there for me personally after reading it it's probably up there with like Jojo, Yu Yu Hakusho and Dragon Ball because of how good it is now the reason I put it so high let's say above like One Piece is high for me too above like Bleach and Naruto is that Toriko never lost what made it, you know, Toriko. The main characters and all that. Like, in Naruto, for example, in Naruto, you start with Naruto and there's in the squad and everything. And, you know, after Shippuden happens, everyone kind of just drops off and they all become kind of weak. And not weak, but compared to, like, Naruto and Sasuke, it's kind of like everyone's pretty much fodder tier. And no, like... No better proof. Uh, no better proof of that is when they're in the in the war arc, because everyone's literally losing until Naruto shows up. And like to me, Toriko kept that energy of like him and Komatsu, and even uh, Coco, Zebra, and Sunny. Like they all, they're all the main character, and the, and they're proof that just because it's called Toriko doesn't mean it's just about him. Uh, he like him and Komatsu are pretty much one and the same because in this in this series the gourmet hunter and the chef are you know a partner a partnership uh, a partnership so when they, they feel like one and the same so they're not just you know oh the Toriko show and then that's it you know it's no and it's over like you know Toriko is a be all end all strongest character and no it's not like that everyone in the group and everyone that they meet along the way still has a presence from the beginning that they've been like they've met all the way to the end of the series where it's a freaking an all-out battle against the earth and it's all-encompassing so not only does toriko keep everyone you know relevant it keeps them important and it develops them too they like Sure, they're not as strong or as, you know, even capable as, you know, Toriko and the main group of, you know, the Gourmet Four Kings. But the fact that they stay relevant even to the end of the story, like a character named Tepe or Aimaru, like, they're, they're characters that you thought, oh, okay, they're going to be cool. Like, you know, side characters or whatever that, you know, might have, like, little impact. But no, they actually, like, are relevant to the end of the story. And... Oh man, the fighting in this in this manga. That's the thing though. They have an anime, they have a manga. The anime Okay, look. Toei really butchered the anime with uh cheap animation, uh a lot of censoring and just like they because the, I think they realized that no matter how good Toriko is, it really I felt like they were trying to like use one piece as a vehicle to make it like pop because literally the first episode of the anime isn't from the manga it's a, it's a crossover between toriko and one piece to like introduce toriko to like everyone so it's a little weird um like i know toriko is popular in japan but like i feel like it's like obviously it's not to the level of like you know my hero or like anything like granted it's over it's been over for a couple years but like the overall like impact and like just toriko itself like it's the fighting is on a whole nother level like you like that's what i meant by in the beginning when i said i couldn't think that like food or like eating would be like would lead to such an epic story you have battles that like mind you the earth in this in this universe is several times bigger because of like you know the whole thing with like flavor and like the gourmet world and whatever in its lore 
The earth is several times bigger. These people are fighting to the level of like fighting across the globe and just like, it's crazy how like powerful they are. Because the whole idea of Toriko and the story of Toriko is just, Toriko wants to find his full course meal, which is obviously like a list of, you know, of your eight main dishes that you want, like your drink, your dessert, your your salad, your your soup, your main, your meat dish, your main dish, like stuff like that. So that's the story of Toriko that like he just wants to find that and the one he's looking for is called God and that's like uh, the basically the be all end all like uh, What's it called main dish for like like everyone and But the thing that makes this, this, this story interesting is that the beasts that incorporate like that have these things these ingredients are so powerful Mainly, especially concerning the eight dishes of the gourmet god, uh, Akasia, or Akasia. They, the beasts that incorporate, or the methods to get these like, ingredients are so extreme and so strong that, like, it's it's on a whole nother level. Uh, like, an example of that is, like, Toriko had to climb a mountain that had 100 times gravity, and he had to face off against the Monkey King. Now, like that, <clears throat> and that's another thing too. Uh, the way they introduced, like the way they have the Lord introduce things in the past, they they like live up to it. They don't like they don't shy away. They don't they don't like you know they don't like ah uh, what's the word? They don't. Uh, I'm just excited. They don't like just false advertise. Like if they introduce like the eight kings of the gourmet world, like the the Heracles and the the mother like snake and all that. They are like, like the be all and like one of the be all and all like creatures of, of like to fight in general, and that's another thing too that Toriko is such a like, Toriko and Komatsu, are such a great like set of like main characters, and the fa and they just work so well off of each other, and it's just and the thing is too that Toriko isn't like, he's not the generic shonen jump protagonist too. He's not like a crybaby. He's not like, uh, you know, weak and all that. Like he, or like he doesn't have that presence of being stupid or like a stupid genius, you know? Like the only thing that he does that's remotely shown in like archetype of like, you know, stupid, hungry, whatever, is that he, one, he eats. If they, by the way, if they had a food competition, like if between like Toriko, Goku, and like, you know, whatever, or like Luffy, Toriko's gonna wipe him off the map. Like it's crazy. And, but, the appetite and then maybe like his like knack for like just being simple like when in terms of like his powers are just punching but punching and kicking and knifing and leg uh, leg knife and all that but everything is so like insane in this world that it feels like it's just like it brings you in and it doesn't let you go and then you have characters that are like just overall like just badass and really cool like Ichi to you, the president of like the uh, Igo Corporation or IGO, and you have Midora, the, the like the leader of Gourmet Corps, and uh, Mansum. Like, there's so many characters in this world that just bring it to like life, and the environments are always interesting. The fighting is on a whole nother level, uh, like like some planetary stuff. Like, I'm not even joking with you. Like, there's some planetary stuff in Toriko, and I would argue that Toriko could probably beat like. Saiyan Saga or like, yeah, I would argue that he could probably be like Saiyan Saga, like Goku, like, and that's a, that's a tall feat, and I would probably say that he could. Because Toriko, like I said, like, Komatsu has, and that's the thing too, they add character development, like, Komatsu starts off as being like a crybaby or whatever, they have a time skip, and dog, like, they come back so clean, and like it's oh man i'm just if i'm sorry if, oh my god excuse me if i'm going all over the place i'm just really excited just talking about this granted i'm not spoiling nothing either so if you want to go read it i highly suggest you read it toriko is by far like in terms of structure story characters it probably is like it deserved honestly like the big three spot in the past like if you know if you guys don't know you're, you're like new to anime manga like you know recent generation the big three were Naruto, Bleach, and One Piece. Uh, now, I, One Piece, I guess, could stay because it's still going on. It's still massively popular, but I would say it's like One Piece, Black Clover, and like My Hero or something like that. But in the past, I think 
Man, Torg they should have had like a big four or something, because Torgo was it, like it felt like it was trying to get so much help from like other series because they even got like a crossover between Dragon Ball and One Piece and Toriko all in one thing, which I don't know if it's available anymore. You could like look it up on YouTube or something. But man, Toriko is just an amazing like series that leads to like just a like an unforeseen like ending. The final enemies, the fighting, the foods, the preparations, the character development. Everything in Toriko is just a work of art. There are some disappointing aspects towards the end, but honestly, it didn't even detract for me, like the overall experience of reading Toriko for the first time. So, I highly recommend you read it. Don't watch the anime. You can watch the anime if you like. got excited after looking at a couple like uh, images or something. Um, like, or after reading like a chapter like I did, I saw, I read a couple chapters and I was like, man, this was so epic. Because I, I never really saw the anime, I just heard it was like bad or like mediocre. So I was like, okay, let me check out how they did it in the anime. And eh, it, was it was bad. So read the manga. Trust me, you'll still, if you're, if you're a manga reader before or you watch anime just in general, the feeling of reading this manga, I like... I legit got joy reading it and that's a lot of times where I don't like feel that when I read manga but reading Toriko really like just it just enveloped me it's such an amazing manga it's 396 chapters uh, not too long you get through by in about a week if you really read hardcore or something or even less than that but hope you guys enjoyed uh, make sure you guys leave a like comment subscribe for you uh, share the video out if you enjoyed if you love Toriko uh, Make sure you follow me on all my social medias like my Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I hope you guys have a great night. Bye, guys.